Can you talk to me a little bit about staking? You can kind of describe it in umbrella terms just to get a, a general understanding for people. So staking as a general term just means to lock up your funds. What that means on different chains and different protocols, it could be a number of different things. So one use case for staking is to earn resources on the Tron network to help pay for, to help subsidize your transaction fees. Another use case could be to provide liquidity to a DEX, and then you can earn commission from trades that use that liquidity provider. Another option would be to lock up your funds to take out a loan against them. What would you say is a reason not to stake your funds? Like, are there any risks involved in staking? There's, uh, there's always risk in staking. So there's risks of there being issues with the smart contract that you give your funds to, which could lead to them being unrecoverable. There could be risks if you provide your funds to a third party to stake on your behalf. You've then given them control of your crypto and they could go away, they could lose it. You don't really know what risk is fully there if you don't have control of your funds. There's also, in addition to the smart contract risks, there's blockchains that have kind of like built-in staking mechanisms, but you're still trusting that developers and the nodes, you're still trusting that the, the code works and that your funds won't get locked up and require some kind of emergency mechanism to release them. Are there any ways that someone could maybe minimize their risk at all? Like, can you audit code or how would someone know if something is like a, a good staking opportunity versus a bad? So without analyzing the code and understanding exactly what happens to your stake funds, I think really users should just be wary of staking opportunities that seem too good to be true. So if a, an entity or a contract claims that they can provide, you know, exorbitant APR on your funds, it could be a scam. 